Very excited to be here at FeeCon, and uh, I can't tell you how excited I am actually to get to talk to Lawrence Reed. Um, when it comes to, to liberty, there are some people who I have found very helpful in helping me get my mind around liberty, and uh, Lawrence, you... You are one of the giants, and so I, I have to tell you, I, I feel almost a, a personal debt to you for, for my understanding of liberty. Um, let me have you talk with us a little bit about the Foundation for Economic Education, its mission, and, and what, what are you hoping to accomplish? Okay. Thank you, Brian, for those kind words. Uh, FEE has been around since 1946, but we recently relocated to Atlanta, Georgia. Our mission is to uh, inspire and educate young people. Uh, in high school and college in particular, with ideas of individual liberty, free markets, and personal character. And we do that through a very robust uh, website, through seminars that are going on somewhere in the world almost every week, uh, presentations on campuses, and events like this, uh, FECON, where we have hundreds from all over the world. You know, character is one of the things that has really, um, this has really jumped out at me. And, and I noticed uh, um, Kathy Smith, who is, is one of our key people at uh, Loving Liberty, showed me an essay about uh, comparing Rome and us today in the U.S. And I want to maybe have you just kind of walk us through some of the comparisons between us and Rome, particularly as it pertains to character. Okay. I firmly believe that uh, Rome rose to greatness largely because of its uh, strong and positive character qualities that no civilization ever gets to uh, that kind of achievement uh, without character. And I know of no country or no civilization in the history of the world that lost its character and kept its liberties. So character and liberty, I think, are two sides of the same coin. In the case of ancient Rome, uh, it reached a point during its republic uh, that it uh, allowed and encouraged more individual freedom than any previous civilization had ever achieved. It was not perfect. Uh, they even had slavery at, the, at, at the, the best of Roman times. But more people had more freedom than any civilization before that time. But they lost it over a period of about 150 years. As instead of the, uh, 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 working for a living, they decided they could vote for one. And so that began the degeneration of the Roman Republic into the welfare state with the concentration of power and money in the hands of increasingly bureaucratic government. And uh, that's tough to turn around once you go down that path because politicians then start buying support uh, from the public with the public's own money, and it's hard to undo that. But um, there are lessons to be learned and, and uh, mistakes to be avoided for sure. I think a lot of people buy into that, uh, you know, plundering the, the public through, uh, you know, through government uh, policies and acts in the name of, well, but this is doing something good. And there's a wonderful quote from Henry David Thoreau that you used in this essay that just drove home. When someone's coming to, to, to do good for you, what, what should the response be? <laughs> I should run for my life. That was a great quote, uh, you're right, from Henry David Thoreau. If I knew for certain a man was coming to my home to do me good, I would run for my life. <laughs> let's, let's talk a little bit about character in the sense that I want to make sure people understand. When we're talking about character, it's not just a matter of uh, the way that uh, Lawrence Reed thinks I need to act or the way that Brian Hyde thinks I need to act. Um, help me understand, if a person wants to develop their character, what are the aspects that they're going to be working on to do that? I think they should be working on things like honesty, commitment to the truth, respect for the truth uh, regardless of circumstances. The truth is value in and of uh, itself for its own sake. Uh, so you don't cut corners, you don't lie, you don't uh, cheat and prevaricate to, to try to get ahead for the moment. Honesty is important, intellectual humility, uh, the notion that, hey, as much as you may know, you should recognize that there's a universe of knowledge out there you don't know. And so life should be a, uh, a decades-long learning process. Never allow yourself to get to the point where you think you know enough that you can plan everybody else's life. Uh, patience is important. Courage. Uh, uh, responsibility. Uh, optimism. These are all character traits of uh, a strong and free people. They, they respect each other, their lives, their property. Uh, they understand their own limitations. They don't try to run other people's lives. They're optimistic about the future because they know they, they can affect it, uh, and uh, they're responsible in all that they do. 
One of the things that you have uh, really made an impact in my life is you like to write about heroes. And, and there's something very powerful about example when it comes to, you know, for, it's good for a person to be a good person just because it's the right thing to do. But there is a net benefit to every single person who is within their orbit. Let's talk about the power of example for a moment. Oh, yes. I think uh, by and large people learn from example uh, as much as from anything else, maybe more so. Uh, you can preach to somebody and tell them what they uh, ought to think or what, or what they should know, but ultimately they're going to learn more from you if you're able to impart real examples of real people who have been exemplars of good character in their lives. That makes it all the, all the more real. And we have so many, uh, and so many that we've forgotten, that we need to dust off and remind people about. Well, you've actually written a book um, about uh, about heroes, and, and I'd love to give you an opportunity to, to tell our, our viewing and, and uh, our, our listening audience a little bit about that book. I'd be happy to. Thank you, Brian. Uh, the title is Real Heroes, Inspiring True Stories of Courage, Character, and Conviction. It consists of 40 chapters. Each one is uh, focused on a different person, most from the past, but there are a few uh, uh, from the more recent uh, past and who are still living. But in each case, it's a person that I felt uh, we really need uh, to learn more about because of the, the fact that they left the world a better and freer place. And why? Because of their character. They lived it, they practiced it, as well as preached it. And uh, so it's a, it was a fascinating project, and I loved every minute of doing it. And the 40 people I have in it, I think readers uh, will find, uh, are each fascinating for a variety of reasons. I uh, I absolutely have found it inspirational to read those stories, and and I think it's proof too that if you look, what you look for is what you tend to find. So if if you're looking for examples of people behaving badly, um, yeah, you'll find that. But if you're looking for the good, um, you have done a wonderful job of highlighting that. Is there anything else you'd like our audience to know before we wrap this up? Uh, well, Brian, I certainly want to thank you and Loving Liberty for the good work you're doing on behalf of all the right things. We need more people who are so committed to liberty that they're willing to take time out to work on its behalf. Uh, because the world is full of people who would be happy to take your liberty from you if you give them the chance. So in my book, uh, you're a hero for working for it and for all that you do for, for Loving Liberty. All right. Thank you to uh, Lawrence Reed with the Foundation for Economic Education. We are here at FECON, and we'll be back with more in just a bit.